Welcome to another episode. In this one, I'm going to show you how one base can get you all the basic resources. This is essentially <clears throat> almost a paradise. Not quite, but almost. It's a bountiful planet. Um, from outer space, I think it says it's paradise. Now, here's the thing. And a paradise planet, usually you'll have paraffinium and something else. On this bountiful planet, I have paraffinium and oxygen. Oxygen is relatively easy to get. You may need a second base to do that. Um, there is a machine um, that... And that, what is it, the atmosphere harvester that you can get oxygen from also. All right, so there's a couple of things here. The first thing you need to know, uh, either uh, the, the large refiner is uh, doesn't take any power, and you can get it in the Expanding the Base quest. Or you can just go to the Anomaly and get it. Okay, first, oxygen gives you carbon. Oxygen and carbon are the two, um, I would say, basic things. Paraffinium will give you ferrite dust. So oxygen giving you carbon paraffinium giving you ferrite dust you would then have carbon ferrite dust oxygen and obviously paraffinium now if you add to paraffinium ferrite dust you would get ammonia Let's take like just uh, 10 ammonias here. If you add oxygen to paraffinium, you can get star bulb. So to grow star bulb. So oxygen with paraffinium gives you star bulb and uh, you get ammonia from ferrite with paraffinium. Now, Ammonia by itself will give you ferrite dust, but if you put ammonia with ferrite, you'll get dioxide. If you put ammonia with oxygen, you'll get fungal mold. So again, ferrite with the substance gives you another substance. Oxygen with the substance gives you a farming item. So basically the idea here is you get paraffinium and oxygen or something similar and you can get all the other basic stuff using the refiner so you we got the ammonia by doing paraffinium with ferrite now we're going to do ammonia with ferrite and we're going to get dioxide dioxide with ferrite will give you phosphorus dioxide with oxygen will give you another farming item frost crystal so again, a substance with oxygen gives you a farming item. A substance with ferrite gives you the next substance. So you can do this with other items too. All right, let's do ferrite with dioxide and get some phosphorus. Phosphorus with ferrite gives you uranium. Phosphorus with oxygen will give you another farming item, solanium. Again, a substance with oxygen gives a farming item. Notice phosphorus is in scorched envi environments. Solanium 
is generally in scorched environments. So you can remember oxygen with the scorched environment substance gives you the other substance, uh, the farming item. So oxygen is key to carbon and in a refiner to get farming items. Phosphorus with ferrite gave us uranium. All right, we will do uranium. With oxygen, we'll give you gamma root. Notice uranium is on radioactive environments. Gamma root grows in radioactive environments. You add the oxygen to that environment substance and it will give you the farming item for it. Uranium with ferrite will give you pyrite. With oxygen will give you cactus. Notice pyrite is in desert environments and cactus grows in deserts. So oxygen with the assigned substance will give you the farming item for that substance. Pyrite with ferrite will get you back to paraffinium. So we've gone full circle now. So you see if you can get a mine actually a large mine to any one of these, you can go through this sequence in the refiner to get to any other basic substance that you want to get to. Or by putting oxygen up there, you can get to any farming item you want to. I think that's pretty awesome thing to know about the refiner. And I haven't seen that in any other YouTube videos. So, um, I don't know, I, I think, I think at least content wise, this is quite a useful video. Thank you for watching.